I could tell you a story about you that I remember not that long ago, I was in the car, I was listening to Howard Stern. And I remember, I, I like, sent you an email, and I said, uh, I took a picture, because it was on my Sirius yeah. XM radio thing, because yeah. it had Stern talking about Ainsley's Bible study. I grew up listening to Howard. Howard's gift is his honesty. Yeah. Howard's gift is he's raw. He'll say what others won't say. Honestly, he was like totally making fun of your Bible study. I know. And what was really interesting to me is I actually viewed it for you. You had something that he didn't have. Now, I've interviewed Howard on radio and on TV. I admire him a lot. He's a great champion. But I remember asking him, I'm like, Howard, I read that you go see a shrink five days a week. I read, Howard, I read that you go home and smoke pot in your basement and watch porn. I'm like, you have more money than God, you know, or almost as much. I'm like, and he's like, I know, I know. And what I realized in that interview is he does not understand as smart, talented, and gifted, I will concede all of that to him. And honest as he is, he doesn't have what you have, which is he doesn't seem to think ever about the majesty of God or the need for the spiritual component. So he was, they were just making fun of it. You were talking about how, you know, you felt the presence of God coming in your life during a tough time. And I felt, wow, Howard does not understand that spirit, as smart as he is. I'm not saying anything bad. Um, you know, you're a friend, so I didn't like he's going attacking you, but I didn't, I thought it made you look good. Thank you. And he would never recognize that part. Well, thank and you. And you had something that he w does not have. I will say, and it's not about me, my whole Bible study watched his interview mm -hmm. and we all felt sorry for him. And we all prayed for him the next week when we got together. Well, he's probably going to now air that. No, That's no. fine. But I think. We love him. We want him to know Christ. That's it. 